but Carmen, I can get a higher rate of return. My name is Carmen. And I'm Darius. And we're the founders of Wealth Nation. As infinite bankers, people approach us with this all the time. And what we realize is that people are confusing banking versus, versus investing. Mm -hmm. So we want to address it right here, right now. But before we do so, we want to make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and also hit the notification bell so that you can be informed every single time we upload a video. So let's get started. We're going to pretend that we're not infinite bankers. So just to put it out there, we are infinite bankers, but we're going to pretend that we're not. Just for this video. Just for this video. And I'm going to start by asking you a question. Okay. So, when you get paid, where does your money go? In the bank. Yeah. Why do you put your money there? Be <laughs> That's a tricky question. Because I don't know where else to put, where else I would put my money. <laughs> besides under, like, my mattress or something, or in a safe. Right. Yeah. What are the perks of putting your money in the bank? Perks? Yeah. Um, benefits. What's the benefits of it? Well, the, the benefits, I would say the convenience, because mm -hmm. the bank's right down the street, and I can deposit money into it, and I can take money out. I can withdraw my money. Um, maybe one other perk is that they give me access to more money by maybe getting loans and stuff, if as long as my credit is good. But then they also give me 1% for my savings account. Yeah, they do, don't they? So yeah. you have the convenience of putting your money in, taking your money out. You earn 1% uh, on your money that's in there. Mm -hmm. And you have access to more money. Yes. Investing, on the other hand, what you what are you doing? I'm When I do an investment, I'm taking my money from the bank and then putting it into an investment. Ex, ex, I realize that there's probably some sort of risk involved. Right. But the idea is for me to get more money. Right. Back. And then from there, I take that money and put it back into the bank. Right. So the <laughs> banks and the investment are two separate entities, two separate things. Two totally, yeah. Two totally different, different things. Different transactions, yeah. So what if I told you there's a place where you can put your money and earn a 4% compound interest every single year on your money? That's not a bank. That's not a bank. It operates like a bank, but it's not a bank. And there's no shady stuff going there's on? There's no shady stuff going on. <laughs> uh, I would take my money from the bank and put it over there because I'm getting more money. Right, because it operates just like the bank. Because the only thing you want is to put money in, you want to deposit money, and you want to take money out. Yeah. And you want to earn the interest and you want access to more money. Yes. That's exactly what this vehicle is. Okay. So the vehicle I'm talking about is whole life insurance. What? From a mutual company key mutual company okay what you're able to do is take your money and put your money into this vehicle and earn four percent compound interest and then is that guaranteed guaranteed so instead of withdrawing your money like you would from a bank mm -hmm. what you're going to do is borrow from the insurance company instead instead i'm not going to use my money you're not going to use your money your money is going to sit there and continue to earn the four percent compound interest year okay. after year but okay. you're going to borrow from the insurance company, and whatever you borrow, you're only going to pay 5% simple interest one year from the time that you got the money. Okay. You're going to take that money, and then you're going to put it in the investment. Okay. How does that sound? Because your money is still sitting there earning a 4% compound interest, and you're able to get more interest from your investment. That it's, sounds like a good deal. Right? <laughs> it sounds like a pretty good deal. So just making sure that I understand what you're saying. If I no longer use um, my bank's savings account, for example. For example. I, I take the, my savings account and I put it into a whole life insurance policy. Right. Now your whole life insurance policy is a savings Correct. policy. And just by that transaction alone, I'm now making 4% compounded interest as opposed to making the 1% that I was making at the bank. Right. Just off of that. Just off of that. Sweet. And then I'm still able to access that money. Mm -hmm. But what you're saying is instead of withdrawing my money like mm -hmm. I would at the bank right. and spending it and never seeing it again, mm -hmm. I get a loan from the insurance company. I use their money mm -hmm. and spend it however I want. Exactly. And but you're not, gonna, you're not going to spend it however you want. You're going to invest it. Because Correct. you told me that you can earn a higher interest rate than what I can offer you in the investment vehicle you're right so basically what I'm gathering is that if I put my money in whole life I can earn 4% compounded 
and just 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 from banking right just from putting just my from money, banking just from putting my money in a storage place mm -hmm. and then when I want to make an investment I, I utilize the money in that system to then invest and earn that high return so exactly. now I'm only I'm earning four percent and I'm earning whatever that return was going to give me as yes. well yeah so now that's bonus points right that sounds like you know, like the Capital One uh, <laughs> credit card commercial where it's like bonus points off of coffee and travel and all sorts of stuff. Is that kind of what you're saying? It's kind of like what I'm saying. It's <laughs> kind of like being at two places at once because mm -hmm. your money is still sitting inside your insurance policy, mm -hmm. but you're still earning money inside your investment also. Sweet. That's how it works. And scene. <laughs> now we're infinite bankers again. <laughs> so um, we wanted to go through that process because people always confuse infinite banking with investing mm -hmm. and we're we're banking we're trying to get you to put your money into a storage facility that pays you more money than what you're currently getting right now right and then from there not only are you earning that four percent you're still earning whatever you your investment is paying out as well exactly so we wanted to make sure that you're able to see that because well we're gonna because to flip the title back on you but I can earn a higher rate of return good good do it <laughs> but we're probably going to earn a higher rate of return than you because we're also earning a guaranteed four percent compounded interest rate no, <laughs> and the other thing that we want to bring to your attention is we are protecting your principal yes right because when you take your money out of the bank and you go invest it if you lose money in that investment that investment is donezo it's right. gone your money's gone whereas this way if you put it in whole life your money is still there because you utilize the insurance company's money not yours right and your money is still there growing earning that guaranteed four percent so if anything we flip the title back on you and we say we can earn a higher rate of return <laughs> than you because we're earning guaranteed four percent we're still investing and our principal is protected if you like our video make sure you hit that like button and if you it's your first time to our channel make sure you subscribe also yes. follow us on facebook and instagram at wealthnation.io and remember own your own lifestyle or i will <laughs> <laughs>